I'm Roma. I'm Maa. Of Common Room. And today, we're self-declared plantitas, tama? We're so used to just making do with the space we have at the condo. Na now na... Ang Biglang laki... meron kaming space, parang wow! Okay, at... to fill it with... Um, saan natin ilalagay? <laughs> um, lahat ng parte maaraw. So, pwede mong taniman lahat. So, medyo nakaka-overwhelm. So, before we give you that veggie garden update in the future, tatanim na muna namin siya. And while we're doing that, we're going to give you tips in case you're also thinking of having your own in their garden. We're going to share our experiences kasi in case kinakabahan din kayo with your own indoor gardens, may mga tips that we can share to help you start your journey as plantitos and plantitas. So we're turning old tissue paper rolls into pots, pots for the seedlings. Why paper tissue rolls? Readily available na siya. I'm sure marami kayong nabat sa bahay. Instead of throwing them, when you need to transplant it to a bigger space, you don't have to remove your seedling from this one because it's yeah. biodegradable. Okay, tips. Bago kayo bumili ng sobrang daming halaman, <laughs> tignan nyo muna yung light situation sa bahay nyo. Anong areas ng bahay nyo yung merong healthy dose of Sunlight, natural light. Plants need sun to make food. Pag walang araw, mahirap ang gumawa ng food ang inyong plant. So, Look for spaces na may araw. Para hindi rin kayo mag-overspend, alam mo na na itong part of the house lang ang pwede mong lagyan ng plant because yun lang yung part na may araw. Huwag kayong bili ng bili, tapos mamamatay lang din siya because your space doesn't allow for that many plants. Ang plants naman, balance siya ng stressful and relaxing. <laughs> Kasi nakaka-relax naman talaga. Tapos iba yung feeling na may nakita mo. Wow, may nagsasprout na bagong leaf! As in, sobrang nakaka-relax talaga siya. Parang may na-accomplish ka na parang may binuhay ka. Same, nakaka-stress din naman pag may napatay ka nga naman. <laughs> to segue to that point, um, do you believe that everyone has a green thumb? Nahirapan siya, Miss Universe question. <laughs> For me, ah, ang natutunan ko sa isang tito gardener, sabi niya, hindi daw totoo na may black thumb ang tao. Grabe yung black thumb, parang black heart. <laughs> lahat daw ng tao green thumb. Pero katulad daw ng lahat ng skill, inaaral siya. The only reason the plant dies is because you don't know how to take care of it. Mm-hmm. Pero it's not because you were not born to be a planter or a plant mama. There's no such thing now. Many people are using it as an excuse not to take care of a plant. Pero actually, no. Everyone can take care of a plant. Ang plants kasi parang tao yan. May iba-iba silang personalities, pangangailangan, gusto ng tubig, yung ibang plants. Ayaw, mal- ayaw maligo, allergic sa tubig. Kailangan mong malaman yung mga ganong little quirks nila. Some of them, matututunan mo over time, mga trial and error mo, so meron ka talagang masasacrifice na plants. It's not about you, it's the plant. <laughs> May kanya-kanyang needs and love language ang mga halaman. In relation, ah! Oh no! <laughs> Para malaman mo yung needs na yun, aside from watching tutorials, getting to know kung ano talaga yung plant mo, ano yung water requirements, yung sun requirements, it's really important that you observe your plants. Your plants are talking to you. Kapag nakita mo siyang nag-yellow, meron siyang sinasabi. Kung baga, hindi siya mamamatay agad. It has different ways of giving you signals na it's already crying out for help. Ang plants natin has different ways of talking to us. So, it's really just a matter of learning its language para ma-salba natin siya. Hindi siya basta-basta namamatay. Sinasabi niya sa'yo na kulang siya sa tubig, kulang siya sa araw, ganyan. Yeah. Like, for example, may mga plants. Pag 
kailangan niya na ng tubig. Yung, yung leaves niya, parang nag-curl up silang ganun. So, ibig sabihin, nag-curl up siya kasi kulang na siya ng tubig. So, nag-reserve na siya ng energy, water. ng water. Ganun. So, yun. So, meron silang mga tell signs of what they need. Some naman literally droop. As in. As in. Parang, oh, gagal na sila. Wala. Kulang na kulang siya sa oh, water. Yung iba yeah. naman, nag-yellow yung leaf. Yellow yung leaf, ibig sabihin, sobra siya sa water. So, kung gaano kadalas ka mag-water, pag nag-yellow siya, try nyo siyang bawasan. Mag-water ka lang kapag tuyo na talaga yung soil para makarecover siya from your over-watering. Marami nagsasabi na it's even better na mag-underwater ka kaysa mag-overwater ka. They don't wanna be smothered with agua. <laughs> anyway, mas masasalba mo yung plant pag kulang siya sa water kaysa pag na-overwater siya at nabulok na yung soil niya. Root rot! Ano nang gagawin mo pag nabulok yung ugat? Guys? You have to repot. Kasi ibig sabihin, sobrang basang-basang-basa yung soil. Tapos, alam niyo, parang you're, ano, ang tagal mo nakababad sa swimming pool. Tapos yung mga fingers mo, nag, parang grippy and ano na siya. May para lilisip pa siya. Oo, oh, parang ganun siya sa roots. Ayaw nila ng ganun. Ayaw nila ng sobrang babad yung roots nila. Kasi nasisira lang siya. Siguro one of the things na nalaman ko talaga during this whole plant journey is that may lifespan ang halaman. Ang mga dahon, alam mo yun, hindi tayo si God. <laughs> Hindi natin mapaprevent ang mga dahon na mag-yellow, na mag-dry, kasi may sarili silang life cycle. It doesn't make you a bad parent if you lose a leaf or two, kasi normal life cycle na yun na magsushed at magsushed sila ng dahon. Matakot ka kung isang araw lahat sila naging yellow, <laughs> tapos nakalbo sila. Yun, that's a definite sign that there's something wrong with your plant. But, nangyari every once in a while, may mag-yellow, mahukulog, normal lang yun. <laughs> It's not a sign na masama kang bad parent. It's their life cycle. So, don't stress too much about it. Plant recommendations! Pothos, sobrang dali niya alagaan. It can survive kahit low light. Any kind of light. Ang maganda, it cascades. Yun yung favorite ko. It cascades. Once a week lang also yung water niya. And then, it's nice also, since if you're a new plant mama and you want to try propagating, One of the easiest plant to propagate is pothos. So, doon ka magsa-start. Hindi siya maarte. Yes. Hindi siya high maintenance. Kung tao nga ang pothos, as in, sobrang ano siya, siya yung friendly sa lahat. Hindi siya namin mili. Lagi siya may parang lilisin. It's easier if you think about them that way. Kasi parang, ah, okay. Ganun pala siya. Parang ano, sinasycho-analyze yung mga halaman. Oh, sige. Next. ZZ plant. Are so oh, easy. Oh, hindi ko ako mang isasabi noon. Ang taya. Okay. Kinuha ko na siya. ZZ plants, as in low maintenance lang din siya. Siya yung mga tipong no drama na plants. Ang taya. No drama na plants, as in yung tipong parang kahit makalimutan mo siyang i-water for like two weeks, steady lang siya. Pero syempre, hindi naman na ibig sabihin na nakakalimutan mo na siya forever. But it's very res resilient. Hindi siya sensitive. Kung makalimutan mo siyang ma-water or kung medyo low light mo siya ilalagay, it will still survive. Marami nagsasabi na mahirap alagaan ng succulents and cactus. Pag nagsastart ka, pwede. The only reason bakit mahirap siya sa start kasi you're an over-eager plant parent. So you tend to water them every day kasi alam mo yun, I have a new plant, I'm going to take care of it. So that's one sure way to kill a cactus and a succulent because they really don't like water. Madali siya for me ha guys, so long as you don't overwater it and you don't kill it dahil tubig ka ng tubig. Actually, I find philodendrons, any in the philodendron family, madaling alagaan. Hindi rin sila maarte. Wow, big word. Big Phil word. Philodendron. <laughs> <laughs> marami yun kasi marami silang types. Iba-ibang kinds ng leaves. So, it's a very big family. Merong heart shape. Yung iba, neon. Yung color. Yung iba, two-toned. Yung leaves. So, marami kayong pagpipilian. Plus, at the end of the day, hindi sila madrama na plants. Uh, ano po bang madaling plants? Um, snake plant, sobrang dali. Mga money tree, madali din yun. Aglonimas. Ang dami yung big words, guys! <laughs> Ako lang, cactus, succulent, pothos, ganyan, ganyan. 
Oh my, oh my god. god. Madami. Oh my god. <laughs> For me, mga alocasias mahirap. For the leaf, oh my god. Yung parang masanggi mo lang siya tapos bigla ka isang leaf bye. Uh, masyado mo akong pinansin, masyado mo akong ano, ginalaw-galaw. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Fig tree and rubber tree, supposedly it's really friendly plants. You have to find the perfect spot for them. Pag ayo nila yung pwesto nila, ayo na talaga nila mabuhay. <laughs> Pag hindi sila na mahay dun sa kanto na yun, Yes. Wala sila pa kay. They will die. Drama queens. Pero guys, sa kapag gusto na nila yung lugar nila for keeps na yan. So you'll thrive, but again, mo silang pansinin, pag ginalaw mo sila, oh my gosh. Yeah. Susungitan ka na lang. <laughs> Kaya nakakakaba pag natanggalan siya ng isang leaf. Dahon, oh my Parang, god. Oh my god, ayaw ba niya yung lugar? Oh no. When you're starting kasi, ang una mong iniisip is really aesthetic, right? Pero meron kasing bigger purpose of why we're... Ito na naman ako, madrama talaga ako. There's always a bigger... Ang meta lagi. <laughs> Sorry na. There's always a bigger reason for doing something. You're not just taking care of a plant. We're taking care of a plant because we all need to take care of a plant now. Diba? Ang dami ng instances. Si 2020 na sinasabi na we cannot be like that anymore. We can't keep abusing earth. We need to really take care of a plant. And for me, the best way to really be more mindful of how we are treating the environment or how we are producing waste is when you take care of a plant. Because if you care for your plants, magta transcend yun eh. Parang magsispill over siya in everything you do. You understand how they work, how they thrive, and then parang mapapa reflect ka din how you live as a person and how your actions affect them as well. Because you're taking care of plants, alam mo na yung plastic na to will be bad for them. So on your own, alam mo na. There's a better way of you know, disposing this or reusing this because we need more more greens and how like everything is interconnected. One little thing that you're doing will affect something else and something else and something else. It's a cycle. If you're dying and you're discouraged, kayo, for me, talaga, one way to overcome those doubts is just remember why we all need to learn to plant these days. That's about it, guys. We're done. Yay! We're so excited to show you our sunflowers and the future. Sana mabuhay siya. And hopefully, makapagbigay kami ng tips kung paano magpatungo ng sunflower. Kung successful kami. Pakita niyo sa amin yung mga plants niyo, guys. Yes, please. We love seeing more people planting. Magpa-plant tour ka ba? Gusto niyo ba ng plant tour? Gusto niyo ba ng plant tour? Comment below. Please subscribe to our channel. Please like this video. Yo, na milet. For our plant babies, please. We work for our plant babies. And there, we also have a Patreon account. So please support our community. So yon, don't be afraid to try to take care of a plant, to experiment. You learn it along the way. So don't worry. Don't be intimidated. So yon, good luck, guys. I hope you grow your own garden at home. Bye.